Hello, fellow gamers. I'm Glory Hound, and this is Dr. Glory Hog. Gee, I'm gonna add to that music. <laughs> Why are you still pointing at me, Dr. Glory Hog? I How said are you my doing name. today? How are you doing today, Doctor? I am doing very well. Are you still confident with your choices on Kickstarters today? Yes, I am. Okay. Hello to chat today. It was sixty-five dollars <laughs> well spent on Primal. That's all it costs. It looks like we have battle cry in chat. How are you doing today? So today we are going to be playing Vampire: The Masquerade Coteries. On the Nintendo Switch. I'm really excited about it. What are you drinking over there? Water? Why? Why? Seems suspicious. Why is that suspicious? All right, so, not as suspicious as her. You know vampires can't eat food. So <laughs> is she walking around with a fake apple, like with a bite taken out of it? Or does she pay someone to bite her apples every day so that she can trick people? Battle Cry says, this is going to suck. Well, kind of. Technically, <laughs> yes. But no, seriously though, why does she have an apple? She probably has that she, one special ability where she can eat, still eat food. To like mimic you can it. take in, yeah, in, in Vampire, you know? I really feel like she actually has some of this she goes up to and she's like, hey, I'll give you a dollar to take a bite out of this apple. And they're like, Ksh! and then she's like, thanks. And she walks around the rest of the day like, oh, I just got done taking a bite of apple. It's funny that you ran into me. Totally not a vampire. Can't be a vampire. I mean, an apple. I think you all know that. I mean, this apple means I can't be a vampire. So this is part of our app-based series or our video game-based series where we go through app-based board games or video games that we like or we think that all of you at home that are board game players would really like. This is a story-based game. Super, super fun. If you're already involved in the Vampire the Masquerade sort of, I guess, back, not backstory, but lore, <laughs> or a bitey humor. <laughs> a little bit bitey. Everything's a little bit bitey whenever you get around vampire. <laughs> That's true. So, of course, it has the tie into the Vampire of the Masquerade lore and everything like that, but this is a story based game. So, we're just going to be going through making choices on our story here. All right, I have more now, to say about this cover art. Oh, gosh. One, she's licking blood clearly off of her finger. So, did it's that blood come from the apple? Because she actually bit her lip. It's like she bit her lip right did there. Did the blood come from the apple, or was she eating somebody and then Don't she decided be weird. to eat an it's apple? It's not a bleeding apple. Don't be weird, doctor. You know what? Mm. I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know if you're going to do well at this game, okay? Uh, I think I'll do very well. Okay, so super important choices right off the bat, Doctor. You're going to be playing this game because I already played it like three billion times already. Hmm. It should have been a blood orange, says Darth Silent Bob. Oh my God, you're Agreed. right. Agreed, it should have been a right. blood orange. You're right, they missed the ball on that for sure. So, Doctor, your choices are Bruja, Ventur, or... For your door. Is that really the three choices? Those are the three choices. That is tough. I mean, I've only ever played a Bruja, so... I figured you would want to play a Bruja, and I was a little insulted that there wasn't a Malkavian on here. I know, I mean, that's I know your it's, jam. That is my jam. Have you played through all three of the different lines? I have. <laughs> I have, but, but I'm here to influence you in like, really bad decisions like throughout the game. I feel like the only thing this Bruja rebels against is wearing socks with his loafers. Like, he's like, I'm not wearing socks. I don't need no socks. He's like socks. the type of Bruja that just keeps his shirt open just to look cool. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, like, definitely. Yeah, yeah, like... He's got, like, a tattoo of, like, a unicorn rainbow, like, on his chest, like, that's prominent and stuff, and then he tries to act up. Well, don't the Bruja have... The one ability to like make people super excited about them. What is it again? In my presence. Presence. That's right. That's right. Choose your name. Well, right. Eric sounds good. <laughs> I mean, do we have any Eric's around here? The memories. I haven't played Vampire in so long. <gasps> I know. I can only play like Vampire the Masquerade games now. I can't actually go and do the RPG anymore because I just don't have the time to. But I'm gonna be Eric. The I Bruja. don't know if you have played this before Darth Silent Bob. This is like kind of like just gives you a little bit of that like Vampire the Masquerade feeling to it. Mm -hmm. So you can pick it up, you can play it for a while, you can put it down, like it's that nice in between, you know? New York taught me to believe in fate. Had you asked me about fate back when I was a human, I would have told you. It's just superstitious bull shrimp. Bull shrimp? <laughs> That we are all it's designers technical. of our own destiny. <laughs> are they able to hear this sound? So like, I do believe I need so. To, so I should probably stop reading. They should be off. able to hear the sound. We can't hear the sound. They can hear the sound. Do I need but, to read this for the crowd? I mean, give them time to read it if they if they need mm. to, and we can comment on what is happening here. Okay. That belief shattered when the richest woman in the United States, the actual richest one, not the face you could have seen in the papers, of course, 
sank her teeth teeth deep into my neck. Ooh, Dar said he played Sabat last time he played the RPG. Yeah, technically the fun. last one I played was a Son of Discord, <laughs> which was like an offshoot, <laughs> like subclass of a subclass of a subclass of like all the men in that clan were supposedly killed. But which my, I'm... my storyteller let me play a Son of Discord, so I could play like an an old '80s like lounge singer. And like kill people by singing like songs like "Rock You Like a Hurricane." That's and, like, just you being a, them die. a vampire bard, is yes. what that is. Okay, <laughs> don't be mad that it worked because Hello, killing people curse. with aggravated damage, singing stuff like "Rock You Like a Hurricane," oh, was great. <laughs> Hello, I'm Eric, the vamp. <laughs> I feel like as a vampire, you should have a chance to like rename yourself into something cooler. Oh, I've actually said this many times in my life. Yeah, that's <laughs> Please, there's absolutely no need to be hostile. Just listen a little longer. Don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> right? You're not my supervisor. And just throw my this is like self out the window. A little bit of Vampire the Masquerade to get you like over before like the new Bloodlines two comes out. You're like, oh, I need me some of that Vampire Masquerade. <laughs> yeah, I would never learn this lesson. I would always fly too close to the sun. And who doesn't want to fly scenario, too close to the you're sun? You're beef jerky. Happens. As a vampire, I feel like kind of need to. You, kind of, you need to push those limits, you know? <laughs> Hello, I'm Bob the vampire. <laughs> so this person is very much like me because they have it all. Money, looks, confidence, connections, men, women, a career. Had a spark in my eye. The one you need to be born with. You can't Ooh. You can't replicate this. Hey, Wait, what did you, tr- you can't replicate this God. spark. I'm sorry. I apologize, audience. She not. I, <laughs> I been, apologize, audience. She Toradora, apparently. <laughs> I was just thinking that. I was like, you chose Bruja, but maybe you should have done Toreador. I don't know. Well, I like Bruja. My first Bruja, like, you know. To be fair, I played... much shenanigans. I played a Bruja in the beginning, too, because... I mean, come on. There's Bruja. But out there, who's everybody's favorite clan to play? I want to know. Well, if Usually, talking, it's Malkavian for me. I was going to say, you played a Malkavian that had a personality that was a Bruja. So that was cool. <laughs> Anna was... I mean, she was a Bruja. She was a biker. Well... I mean, you got to hang out and like, you know, you got to get in the group and the feel of the group. So in order to like make things happen, you know, she was a ninth generation kindred, just like you, an apex predator, like a shark with laser beams. She probably enjoyed teaching me the peak of human excellence. My real place. Oh, Giovanni. Sorry, Giovanni's a good one. That makes total sense, Silver Key Lounge. Yeah. I can see you as a Giovanni yeah. after going and look at your la- looking at your lounge. Talking okay? to the undead, <laughs> you know, just a little casual yeah. talking to the undead. I can see this. It's mm. such an eyesore when you look at that loudmouth braggart and see them for all that they really are. The temptation to teach them a lesson can be unbearable, right? Think about if, like, every time we ate food, like, it became, like, a copy of us. This is a weird tangent. What? But, so if you like, as a vampire, like your food, if you don't finish it, your leftovers become a vampire. That's true. So like, do you put them in Tupperware or do you just be like, ah, well now you're a vampire now. So like, could you imagine if you didn't finish your steak and then all of a sudden you had to like worry about well, your no, steak just trying to up, overthrow your kingdom? They just end up following you around though too. Like, cause yeah. like you have the humans that you feed off of and then they, wish they're like, yeah, follow let's follow me around. you around. They're like, hey, you want some more to eat? You want some more to eat? How amazing would that be if your food just followed you around all the time? So, Fatal Paper Cut says, Malkavian, the whole insanity thing can get pretty wild. I agree. And I really like it whenever there's, like, some attribute you can put in your blood where, like, people who drink from you also go insane, which was, like, super fun. Of course you did that. Of, of course. course you did. Because, you know what? Nothing says fun like more insanity, everyone. I will say it was pretty fun to play with you having that multiple, multiple personality. So, there was Anna, the one that I was dating. But then I hated Erica, the other one, that was all snooty booty, and I hated her. And so, like, whenever you'd flip, I was like, oh, yeah, this is my girl. We're dating. <laughs> and then you'd flip back, and I'd be like, ugh, Erica. There was the cool one, and then the cool, the one that wanted to be, like, a ventor. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. It was no good. It was fun. It was like playing two characters. It was a lot of fun. Was it only two personalities? Wasn't there, like, a third? No, there was more. Then there was that time we played World of Darkness, and you played, like, Someone from like the bayou, and you only said one thing. She was my friend. Like, I don't remember the accent. But <laughs> that was, was... When I w- that's when we were playing vamp- the hunters. Yeah. Yeah. Hunters. Well, it's part of the world's darkness. Well, she's deader than dead now, and I'm still here standing right where she stood when we first met. I feel like you've done some shady stuff. I yeah, like that. How did you learn about my arrival? I. <laughs> 
<laughs> Make them a ghoul so it's never ending doggy bag. That's see, that's what I'm talking about, Silver Key Lounge. I'm not gonna lie to you. I convinced my storyteller that I can make four ghouls and I made them basically I took the actors from the A team and then I oh, actually gosh, had I forgot about the that. A team. <laughs> and when I got in trouble, I could literally call the A team and they'd be like dun 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 and they'd rescue me. It Except in a slightly different song that was not the A team. I think you called them something else, like the B team. Probably. I'm pretty sure they went I'm and a did the Rice Busters with game. That show, even though I haven't watched it in twenty something years. <laughs> I need to stop like having A team stuff going on it's the song that really i really it. really like the art in this game doctor because although it's a story based game where you're just going through and you're doing like a choose your own adventure sort of thing hmm. the art in this game is so beautiful and i love the music like so good and is i just it's just like the dreams. little tiny bit of art movement like the person slightly swaying like there's raindrops slightly coming down the window and On stuff. The lighting's beautiful. Raindrops like, mm, so good. Head. Just, oh, uh, so good. If so I vampire. don't finish the B team, you, you become undead. If Doc was a vamp, it'd be more like what we do in the shadows <laughs> and less like interview with That's the vampire. True. What's his name? Is it Matt Berry, the one who does it in the TV show? His vampire, I love it. So Lazo. Good. He's just like, Laszlo. he's just. He's like, Lots oh no, I'll we'll fight, bat, and then disappears. <laughs> I love him. Like, I want to if be him. Anybody has not seen what we do in the shadows? Make sure to go back to the movie first, and then go watch the TV shows. So the good. movies, mwah, Jeff's kiss. Okay? I can do it anything, but I have a hard time with the faces. Oh so god! Wow. Oh my god! That like killed me so much. Wow. All right, what's the deal with this guy, Doctor? I have to repay some favor. I don't know. See you later, Silver Key Lounge. Thanks for joining us. You might think I'm crazy asking you to breach the rules of our society like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that seems bad. You might it's think it's impossible fine. to get away with it unpunished. No, that's not true. Mm -hmm. I found a way to diablerize people in my story. <laughs> it's probably fine. That's fine. I mean, this you're a brouhaha. York. You can get on anything, And right? I don't know about other cities, but in this one, fate really exists. Oh, okay. That's cool. So fate's like a person. Is she smiling in your favor? It's smiling in your favor. Well, I can I can name fate whatever I want. Okay. This is how it begins. <laughs> this is Elysium. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I almost spilled my drink there. <laughs> First came the messy breakup. Next came the rant on Facebook. Oh, <laughs> Being a realization true. you have nobody to talk to about how much it sucked. <laughs> That's vampire humor. Still, you decided to roll with the punches. You're not a vampire you yet. Celerity. You're not a vampire yet, doctor, oh. okay? Do I have celerity yet? No, you're not a vampire. Oh, look, it does have Facebook in here. One Facebook search for local events later, and you found just the thing for your malaise. Ooh. Or your mayonnaise, as I like to say. I sure a subway ride, and you'll find yourself at the nightclub just outside the Dumbo. Not a fancy one, mind you. More like slightly refurbished warehouse. Well, I should talk about less fancy town then. And hey, at least the <laughs> drinks are cheap, just like Aww, me. Oh yeah. Doctor, I feel like you would have cheap, you would be a cheap drink. Yeah. yeah. I get, GTA I get seems you. to really know his <laughs> schniz also. <laughs> Alternating between cutting edge industrial techno and classic Detroit crowd pleasers. Expertly feeling out everyone's mood. An hour passes, then two, then you dash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Usually you feel awkward coming to a place like this alone, but tonight you feel something soothing and joining the crowd. Blending in, even as you allow the beat to take over. Fatal says, "Am I blending in?" Is well, not that? like that. Not whenever you do it like that. But I mean, your character is blending in. Hmm. So Fatal says, "I could see Doc hovering outside Hound's window, like Paul Rubin in Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie." <laughs> right? <laughs> it was so you, good. Has everyone seen that movie? Let the right one in, like the Swedish-made one with the vampire. That's like. Young, that one was remember intense. That. I don't remember that. I don't that. think you ever watched it. I don't think so. It was good enough that I watched it, and then I watched like the American version of it, which wasn't as good, but it was very good. It never is. It never is. Sweat. Your other people. A thought pops into your head. Did I leave the toaster on? I feel like that would have been like a perfume commercial, right? Sweat. <laughs> your other people's essence of sweat. Right. Sweat. <laughs> right. You need to calm down. From the outside, the fully packed club might seem like a stuffy, smelly nightmare. 
but here in the thick of it, it becomes exhilarating. Or just really hot. Yeah. Like it just saying. gets really hot. And, and you're, you're not, not even you water. on a pill tonight. I'm assuming they're talking about vitamin D, which is what we all need to be taking since we're spending so much time inside, right? <laughs> yes. Be some meatball, lat- vitamin D, guys. Well, I'm not going to call her a chick. There's some Latina, I guess I just did. There's some Latina woman whose curves are accentuated by the light dress clinging to her body. I'm going to get in trouble reading this. <laughs> but she keeps bumping into you. Something tells you it only seems incidental. Mm. Oh, mm. Yeah, it's a good night. You wish it could last forever because you know all too well what the next day holds. The next day holds haagen melted on the counter from when you fell asleep binge eating it by yourself. Because you got really sad. you person. Waking up. Is this game a visual novel? Yes, it is Haunting Curse. So The commute. You're going to have... The nine to five. You're going to have choices that you're going to make throughout the game, which are going to change the story of the game as you go along, though. Wow, and then Jessica left. I got to pay for everything for myself. Ooh, I am regretting this nightclub visit. I don't have enough money for Jessica rent. Jessica was a jerk, apparently. Like, that... Oh, that never mind. Ooh, hold I on. I Latina again. I'm good. She's now next to another guy hitting it off. Oh, no. My chance to not go to bed alone is gone, just like that. Fudge-sicles. <laughs> I like your rendition of the, the words. The temporarily shut down. You leave the dance floor. I'm telling you to get some haagen and stumble your way to the filthy bathroom because it's <laughs> filthy like you and you deserve each other. Is that where the haagen machine is at? You take a look in the mirror and start to wash your face obsessively because you're a dirty boy. Whoa, this is not that type of show. <laughs> a voice from the past echoes in your mind. Did you drink water? Shut up, mom. I'm my own man Hey, now. that looks like Uma Thurman. You I forgot like, about that. You look like I, Uma Thurman. No, I don't. I don't look anything like Uma I've never Thurman. Felt, you have to do Jessica's voice. I won't do it. It's bad. What? I've never felt like this with anyone. Seriously, I mean it. <laughs> I feel like all of my relationships up to this point were test runs. A poopy way to compensate <laughs> my low self-esteem. But this, this feels right. Finally. <laughs> Shut up, Jess. <laughs> That was the craziest flipping day of my life. <laughs> Good God, I need a smoke. Pass me a light. What do you mean cops took the lighter? There's one in your mouth. Hmm. Okay. I'm flipping. It's like when, uh, what is it, moss? The icy like, crown. I've got yeah, a flipping gun. I've got a flipping gun. <laughs> Just shut the heck up. This ain't the devil hockey sticks no more. This is not you. Not anymore. <gasps> oh, oh my take gosh. off like a f- kite. Because this is so <laughs> like you, acting like some sort of Clint Eastwood wannabe. Oh. When I really, really need you to open up so I can drink your blood. Oh, um. You think you're impressing people with this tough guy act? Why you? <laughs> I know how broken you really are. You need therapy. Yeah, now that sounds then like Then they just, just become your today. therapist and that's the end of the game. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, okay, well, I helped oh, myself fine. out. Fine. You raise your head and look in the mirror. You try to smile, but all you can muster is a self-pitying grin like this. You did it again, you <laughs> son of a bee. Oh, God. And there she is, the Latina from before. Can we give her Who's a that? name? Oh, okay. Oh, her name oh, is... Oh, she's she looks like a... A vampire. Bad is what she looks like. Ass uh, usually, she if somebody like... bumps up against me and they've you got yellow what? eyes, I'm thinking, and she's got a lot of hair, is she a werewolf? Hashtag is she a werewolf? I don't know. It's worth the risk. I'm rolling I'm just those gonna dice. Say, I'm rolling those dice. I'm gonna say, like, oh man, I lost something down under the table. Hold on. Okay. She says you look like you need a drink. You hesitate for a second or two, and then what if it was like an accident? Like she's like, I think I need a drink. I mean, I look. You look like you need a drink. No. You start to talk. It quickly becomes <laughs> evident that she's into politics. Uh, you're eager to please Ugh, yeah let's no. talk about elections baby no i don't want to talk Ooh. about elections what's up with that electoral college oh Ooh. why did we pick the bruja popular vote no <laughs> you might be a corporate drone but you spend a lot of evenings reading theory actual theory not bad twitter cliff notes and organizing for all manners of causes online You've got the Daily Show. You subscribe. You know what's happening in the world. I feel attacked, okay? <laughs> the status quo sucks. There must be something better. She agrees. You seem to subscribe to the same progressive political theories. Have compatible ideas about the DSA's missteps. Even watch the same YouTube channels 
like Glory Hound presents. Oh, your wow. Your are online. Do oh you want to see more couples playing board games I didn't together know. Live? I didn't know if they were like, what? I don't know. That's this is weird. Here. This is weird. That's really awkward. I mean, but I'm okay with this. That's weird. <laughs> She's a little bit more radical than you have guessed. That's, that's you. <laughs> Paddle Cry says, wow, you bite your mother with that mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you attended a few rallies, been to a few protests, but this girl sounds like she broke her share of faces and kicked more than a couple of cops in the nards over the course of her activist career. Why I guess couldn't I could you say, say not? Nuts. Yeah. In the walnuts. Yeah, that's better. Know. In the walnuts. Here's the thing. In real life, I cuss a lot. All the time. And so it's weird being on camera because I'm not supposed to because <laughs> YouTube likes to those videos. Her zeal is infectious. She taps into pent up, into pent up anger that you didn't know you had. Uh, tax returns. Uh. <laughs> the noisy club stops working for you both, so you hit the streets, literally punching pavement with your fist until your knuckles are raw and bloody. She Why licks the blood off returns? your knuckles. You go get McDonald's. Uh, Battle Cry says if they mention game trays, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're going to. Just as you're leaving, the DJ Game Trays with a Z starts no, playing all DJ the things game she trays. said. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's, they start. When was this? When was this game made? <laughs> all the things she said by T A T U, of course. So I had a buddy when I was in oh military, okay. show, and he listened to this song way too loud over and over again. All the things she said, all the things she said, running through my head, running through my head. It was a lot. I've never heard of that song. It was a lot. Shof played it nonstop. I was like, do you own Maybe another Shof CD? Maybe Shof should have gotten together with this girl. I mean, like. No, the whole seems, thing oh. is the, <laughs> the group were like, the two women were like together. Or at least oh, they were pretending okay, they were. Okay, okay. So it was a big, it was a big thing. I mean, it was a big to do hey, back in the day. 2003 was crazy. Okay. <laughs> 2003 was way worse than now. You chuckle to yourself, trying not to slip into a bad headspace. <laughs> I hope I don't get morbidly depressed from listening to this. She chuckles along with you because she's also crazy and off her meds. Can't afford her copays. It's chilly outside, but soon enough you find yourself too invested in listening to the girl's voice to care about anything else. Like where your wallet went. Did she just rob you? Probably. Probably. Did you I have mean, $15? Sure. Yeah. Did she earn it? She did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you realize you've been holding hands for a while. What? Oh my. This is getting saucy, guys. Oh my god. The subway car is going to go out. Save for a stoic middle aged couple and a drunk staring intently at his own feet named Battle Cry. Plenty of room <laughs> to stretch out. And yet she sits right next to you. <gasps> a girl whose hand I'm holding sits next to me. Oh my god, are we going steady? And this is pretty much how we met. You I'm need to sure. meet my I'm father sure. in the parlor so I can get his permission to go out with you. Is she sitting like how close? Like this close? Okay, I'm just sitting next to you. It's totally fine. Like, I don't mind me. I didn't get this chair rated don't for two. Me. It's for one person. <laughs> you can feel her thigh pressing into yours, her breath on the side of your neck. <sighs> I'm not like that. That's creepy. <laughs> Like a dog, like some type of bulldog just breathing in the back of your head in the middle of the night because it has to go pee. <laughs> That's like tenders, poor tenders. Like a pug. She always needs to pee allergies. in the middle of the night. <laughs> Ooh, those are. Whoa, Battle Cry. Please, sir. This is a family show. Maybe it's the booze talking. Maybe it's your clinical depression, but you distinctly hear your voice asking oh my gosh. if she'd like to crash your place. Hey, would you like to be a mess at my place? I have to work <laughs> early in the morning, so I'll leave you in there. and You can steal anything I got. Let's just say I got a new PlayStation 2. Hmm. Baller. <laughs> I got a better idea, she says. At this point, you're down for anything as long as she lets you spend just a few more minutes with her. That's how you get trapped. This is That's a, tra a trap. It's a trap. That's how Bubba this happens. Trap. <laughs> <laughs> she takes you to a sleazy motel in the Bronx. Whoa. A few words with the balding, tired oh, guy, guy in the background over there. The front you see it? Look, way over there. See it. What's he doing? I'm pointing right over there. There's going to be somebody that's walking over here. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Get back into it. Get back into okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. Tell me when he starts to walk, and I'll freak out. <laughs> he hands her a key. Still holding your hand, the woman leads you up the stairs. This is oh, there he goes. All right, I saw him. That was, uh, I wasn't scared, but I was a little surprised he was that far back, and he did look creepy. The room you end up in is almost comically stereotypical, complete with flanking, flaking paint and a sticky floor. Oh, with gross! Flanking, flanking, flanking paint. Paint. Yeah, like a pastry. I'm being attacked. 
Fucking you damage. Now that not that it matters though, the moment you step through the door, she's on you like a vampire like a fly on, <laughs> on a hot you dog <laughs> during a summer barbecue. Ew. What? I could have gone way worse. <laughs> you try to take the lead, but she's having none of it. Oh my god. Before you know it. Oh my you, gosh. Do we need to you like feel turn the this off? bread pressing against your back? It's sloppy, fun, fierce. Eh? <laughs> Fierce way. And not once did she lose the initiative. <laughs> oh, she's got initiative. She probably has oh my gosh. initiative. That's why she's acting first. Your hands reach places. Strange. <laughs> but now her skin feels eerily cool as if, since you're confused, she slaps her hands off of her and says, those aren't yours. That's not for you. Not for you. <laughs> she kisses your neck. You were overwhelmed by the sensation. Did you play this game before we played this on stream? I did, but I, I totally forgot about this. I mean, it's the time what to get embraced. What do you mean when I fall asleep? You're supposed to be embraced. It's darkness, okay? Like That taste of liquid fire and smoke on your tongue. Vampires are crazy like that. Remind you that first that. time you had that cigarette in Sumar. Mmm, tobacco -y with twigs. <laughs> no. Reverse saying, sorry, kid. I did what I had to do to leave this city in one piece. But don't worry. With my blood and your principles, you're going to do just fine. Yeah, she could tell I was a principal person. By the way, we talked about politics taxes. and taxes and politics. then she ran you over to a hotel you're a very very I'm like, very principled yes very very like very moral i'm basically superman <laughs> like but in a better looking form watch out henry cavill she slams the door behind her she leaves okay cool you lie help us on the soil pungent mattress for some time no i would not i would get up <laughs> i don't lay on stinky things i get up before you can focus enough to try <laughs> and pull together your evening and hit you, the big hunger. Oh, you're like, this Would you is like, This is a stinky mattress. I'm up. It grips you by the throat. Ugh, and makes you're your like, insides yeah, this is gross. I'm shrivel out. in terror. It's an all accompanying emptiness that throws you on all fours. Oh my god. No, oh, am I about to have like. Oh my god. Am I about to have like relations with a ghost? I feel like. It's, it's gonna be ghost whoopy. I don't know. You crawl for a while, squirm on the floor like a squirm a lermy worm. Squirm a lair. Oh squirm a lair. In sundering pain. They jump to your feet and bust out the door. <laughs> like the Kool Aid Man. No, oh, same yeah. thing that happens in like Christmas Story oh, or something. <laughs> no. Listen, I just rolled around on the floor and I'm busting through the front door. You and gotta I'm like, get away oh, from yeah. the mattress. Oh, yeah. I mean, you gotta get out of that room. You Jeez. Like, I like oh, the stream okay. stopped. We're not still live, are we? <laughs> this is. I think we just lost all of our. Oh, oh god! No, nope. Battle Cry is still commenting. Oh We're in trouble. Oh my gosh! Vampire yeah, smelly yeah, mattresses, Glory Hog. Oh, slutty god. hotel rooms. The room is slutty. You oh, black out. Thank it's God. Like too much. Too much, Doctor. You're cracking me up. Da, oh, da, da. To be continued. <laughs> this isn't the room you saw when you last closed your eyes. This isn't my wife. Where do the days go by? No. My talking head fans. My talking head fans. No. Come on. Let's, yeah. This let's, will be the last time it's seen on the air. This is going <laughs> private. This is next time this we have will a, be for Patreon members only. <laughs> whatever. This is our next couples retreat. Hey we're gonna be out with Greg and Stephanie. I'll be like, forget hey, Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah. Have you seen our <laughs> Vampire the Coterie playthrough? <laughs> Let's just say it's like putting an ethanol in the old engine there, buddy. Oh, my God. Somebody cursed at you. A small, naked, buff dude holding a short leather whip. Oh, that's oh. trouble. That's, you Hold do not on. want to be accosted by a short dude. You just dude got out of that sort of really situation. Buff. Like You're in. This is danger. Whoa. All right. Why is he insulting you? That's not cool. Why don't I they mean, show him? Oh, what? He throws a punch. It's a Hawaiian punch. It's okay. You're thirsty. <laughs> he yells out several slurs about... Well, did he hit you or did, what happened to the punch? He hits okay. you in the jaw. All right. We got to act it out. Do it. Be gentle Hold and on. fragile. I'm like a Fabergé egg. You were supposed to, like, turn your head. I when closed I my eyes. I was scared. God. You black out again, <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> Glory hound after hours, probably. <laughs> this guy isn't moving anymore. There's blood on his neck. Wait, what? You There's blacked blood out? blood on his arms. Well, how am I hearing this person then? There's blood, There's on, the blood on the floor. There's, There's blood on the floor. There's a lot of blood. everywhere. Um, that happens, Hey, if okay? you could go ahead and, like, 
clean up after yourself, that would be cool. Wow, whoever did this is one sick puppy. Says the short buff dude <laughs> with the whip. No, you ate him. You ate him, doctor. No, he hit me in the jaw. Yeah, and then you ate him. Did I miss There's that? blood everywhere. Did they say that I bite him? There's you blood everywhere. You the top of his corpse. Oh, see, spoilers. Yeah. You knew what was going to happen. No, you're eating your... I assume... Get a little... Mm, I assume that my blood in that state... I'm hearing this buff guy talk yeah, about, like, this guy's a mess. You hear him... You hear a whimper like this. That's how it goes. Like a dog that needs to go pee at 1 a.m. <laughs> Somebody else is there, a woman. Her arms are tied to the bed frame. And oh my eye gosh. Over her face, red marks on her back. Oh no. Party time. That's not a party this time. This time you see it happen. You want to stop, but can't. She almost manages to get a scream out, but it dies in her throat. This is very racy. As you bite to the side <laughs> of her neck, you drink. All the Empire of the Masquerade oh. things are racy, I think. Blood. You're drinking blood. Well, duh, bro. You should have known this by now. You could swear you feel her life force Hold escaping on. her body, entering yours. So basically, you became a vampire, and within two seconds of leaving your disgusting bed, you went ahead and ate some guy out in the hall. Some and naked now, dude. Mm -hmm. And now you're eating this other person? A naked woman. What's wrong with you? Like, do you have no class? I guess it's like when you pluck a chicken, so you just like get a naked human, you eat them. It's, maybe it's faster. What? How does that work? <laughs> Suddenly terrified, you tear away from her. She's not moving, but she's breathing. Bro, bro, you are breaking the masquerade. So oh, much breaking of the masquerade. Your sire You're in, in so, so much trouble well, right your now. Your sire is in trouble, too. Because they're not supposed to bite and run. I'm pretty sure that's against the rules. There's barely a mark on her neck. Yeah. The guy on the floor, though, he looks fed up. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my. Oh gosh. Okay. You play this in the dark, don't you? <laughs> Double over in a spasm. <laughs> you knew what was coming and you just thought this will be funny to make him play this. <laughs> I'm not going to have nightmares. I'm not scared. <laughs> what? You feel like throwing up, but you can only gag. <laughs> it's uh, like a cat uh, before uh, you, uh, like. Uh, well, this channel escalated quickly. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Panic sets in. As another realization okay. dawns on you. He went ahead the heart and... is not beating. Your heart is not beating. You put two fingers to your wrist, but feel no pulse. Same thing on the neck. Dr. Larry Nothing. Hogg did all the friendly bleeps in between, so it's totally fine. There's no breath coming out of your mouth, <laughs> but you still smell like hoagie. If there's no breath coming out of your mouth, would it be like, like if you blow on something? Are you just not blowing? Like you fake blow on something? Or do you actually still like try to blow? Like, you know what I'm saying? You're like... like if you, if you have to put out a bunch of candles in a room... As a vampire. Do you have to use outed. a snuffer? Or can you still force yourself to have breath? That's, That's not, not a, a game. I'm, I'm not playing snuffer three on stream. That's not a game. <laughs> you have to get out. Get someone to call an ambulance. I'm not calling an ambulance. I'm leaving, bro. This no. is a bad deal. It was bound to happen. Losing so many games will do that. <laughs> for yourself, at least. Probably too late for the dude on the floor. Did you really kill him? Do you really have to ask? Whoa. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Tis. What a mess. This guy's like... Not happy. You look up. What? The door to the room is ajar. A tall, handsome, broad-shouldered man <laughs> fills the entire frame. He brushes well, an imaginary speck of dirt off his perfectly tailored suit. <laughs> Whoa. Call uh, 911. Hold on. <coughs> I'm so parched. I need blood. All right. All right. There you go. What do you want to do? Call 911? Out of the way? <sighs> This is not what it looks like. I'm a fan of this is not what it looks like. I'm saying out of the way, bro. Out of the way. Why I are you call so for help. rude? I don't know this dude. I could take him. I just ate that buff little guy. The call has been made. I'm the help. Oh. All right. Cool, cool, cool. He surveys the room, not moving an inch. That this, seems sus. This guy's like just John Wick as a vampire. <laughs> I'm here to clean up your mess. He shakes his head in mock concern like, mm, really? Really? Murder, assault, that's 25 to life if you're lucky. But since you're not, it's a death sentence. <gasps> you're gonna kill me? No, since you're not lucky, got it. Takes a glance at his expensive looking watch. Mm. I bet you I could buy a primal with this. And you have an expensive looking watch. I don't, I need an Lucky for watch. you, it's been a slow night. Otherwise, I might not have gotten here in time. Come on, the sun comes up in a few hours. You don't want to be around when it does. Why? <laughs> at this point, I don't know. 
Yeah, see? I need a doctor! Doctor! Uh, Alright, to be fair... I have a doctor. I feel bad, but I would actually say this. Oh! Screw you, man! I'm not going anywhere with you! Doctor, Pan, we're keeping it racy. An angry scowl appears on his face. I've seen you on YouTube. You're not tough. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Language whelp. Huh? <laughs> the man approaches you and starts talking. His tone remains unnaturally calm. Oddly enough, you find it both soothing and slightly unnerving. Like the guy who plays Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec. I would probably do anything that man says. Well, that's fair, because he does like have Offerman? a very nice voice, yeah. Mm -hmm. If he was yeah. just like, now push her, push her off the cliff, I'd be like, well, sorry, babe. <laughs> what? Now listen to me. Hey, calm down. I'm listening to Nick over Rude. here. I know this is all new to you, but I've dealt with hundreds of strays like you, and going by experience, they tend to fall into two categories. Oh, you're a stray. Hot or not. Ring me up hot or not. Oh. Dot com. So cute. Is hot or not dot com still active? I don't I don't know if that's still a thing. Is hot or not still active? We want to know. <laughs> First, there are the smart ones who carefully obey my every word and don't try to pull off anything stupid. That's not me. If hot or not is still active, can we put a picture of you in there and then with the onesie on? No. I always get them where they need to be, safe and sound. And then there are the dumb ones. The punks who thought they could take me on. The wise guys who try to contact somebody secretly. And without permission, the troublemakers try to run off or make a scene. Oh, I'm making a scene, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a scene. And game in. It's Did my, you make a scene? <laughs> it's my God-given right to make a scene. <laughs> None of them got to their destination in one piece. In fact, most of them never reached their destination at all. Well, I'm going to the Hotel California where there's always room. But you can, but never, you can leave. never leave. Yeah, you can't get out of there, though. Welcome to... Sorry. What if, like, the Hotel California was just, like, a giant mimic? And you go in there and you get and eaten. And you go in there and you get eaten and then you can never leave. That's probably what it is. I'm sure that's probably exactly what the band was talking about. I know exactly, giant mimic. I know exactly how this mysterious stranger feels. His voice becomes slightly bored and monotone. <laughs> Keep talking about your mimic <laughs> stuff. It's really killing right now. You can tell he's given wow. this speech before, likely dozens of times. If you like any of the things on our table right now, like the game trays, the other table topper, <laughs> or the game, please look at the link below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. Whenever we go live. So you see, while I generally consider myself pretty smart, I'm also a Mets fan. Okay, why? This is too much information at this yeah, point. I don't talk care. Like that? I hey. don't care if you're a Mets fan, bro. Hey, I want you to know, although I'm pretty smart, I'm also a dwelling hey. of Elderville fan. Hey, I know that although you killed a bunch of people and there's some serious stuff going on right now. I want now, you to know that I'm a Mets fan. I really need you to know my sports affiliations. I <laughs> really like the Coyotes. Hey, I know a lot's going on right now, but I just want you to know Coyote, Coyote Up, that movie, whatever it was called, is actually pretty good. I enjoy it. I watch it every That's Friday. That's good to know. Yeah. That totally served purpose for the storyline. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's my one true weakness. <laughs> Coyote Ugly, that's what it is, not Coyote Up. You can tell I'm a huge fan, I couldn't remember the name of it. One that inspired me to come up with a three-strike system when dealing with pups like you. Strike one. If you get on my nerves once or twice, well, I understand. Not all of us perform well in stressful situations, like when you forget to dwell. Strike two. But cross me three times and you're oh, out. Wait. No wait, he skipped strike two. No, he just said, like, like you got three chances, basically. So that just tells me that I can act a fool twice. Like, I'm going to immediately... <laughs> I can push if you the tell boundaries me that there's a three-strike rule, the first thing I'm going to do is act up. <laughs> at least two times. No excuses. And then the third no time, you're going to no at least mercy. think about it a little bit. The okay? third time, I'm going to try to still get away with it. Maybe but I'm going to go for it. Maybe it's like three, and then it's like, and then you're done. You don't know for sure. That's true. As he's talking, you just punch him. Just <laughs> once and say, hey, you said I get one. You said I get one. That's on you, buddy. I'm following oh your rules. Oh, my gosh. Adding a bit of theatrical <laughs> swagger to his walk like this. He leans in, deliberately invading your personal space like this, like, hey. Hey, girl. What's up? Nothing. <laughs> you realize it's a test. He's daring you to do something about it. Oh, I'm punching him. <laughs> Three strikes and you're out. He keeps telling me that I've got two chances to act a fool. Why? Is say, he... I understand, sir, now. First thing I'm going to say is, yeah, whatever, buddy. Strike one, but worth it. You've never been too eager to bend the knee to anyone. 
It's, yeah. Well, you're not Jon Snow. I mean, to be fair, like... neither collar nor crown. I am not taking a knee. <laughs> but this, this is something else. Take a knee, Jon Snow. The man's very presence instills okay. a primal fear in your heart. Okay, sure it does. I mean, kind I'm super of. Scared. Oh, there you go. There's number two for you. Right, that's, see, I feel um, like that's strike one yep. for sure. With all due respect, <laughs> sir, go fly a kite. <laughs> yeah, cheese head. Is that a Mets reference? No, that's Packers. I don't support. I'm sorry. Strike two and watch the language. Well, oh, don't give me another chance. Moving wait, on. wait, wait. How did strike one happen already? Did you just say strike two? Yeah, I guess he did. Moving on. Is there anything else you want to inform of your current situation? Tell them that you're all right. He flashes his fangs briefly. For some reason, the sight sends a chill down your spine. There's something very wrong about him. Hmm. Someone closest to you? Well, I'm not telling you. Uh, actually, Why you're... Ah, lay out, lay out your butt. To be fair, <laughs> to be fair, Jessica is the worst. Jessica's a jerk, so maybe if you go Jessica, ahead and like, name her. she's my girlfriend. I want him to tell her, and I'm hoping that he bites her, because I'm done with her. His eyebrow twitches. Hold on. Is what? this the same demise that would happen to me in this case? Oh, yeah, no, I would, well, to be fair, if I get turned into a vampire. What? Put, you were clawing me really hard. Well, yeah, you it's, just told me you would kill me. <laughs> They're vampires. I would turn you. It's fine. <gasps> oh, it was bound to happen. Losing so many games will do that. Okay. Oh, vampires can't count. I didn't realize Listen, that. I didn't realize deal. vampires can't count. I feel like cry. we've discussed this on stream before. We have a simple rule in this family. If any one of us becomes a zombie, a vampire, a werewolf, you immediately bite everybody else. No, in the no, family. no. That is not the rule. It is if you become a vampire or a werewolf, you immediately bite all family members. And by all family members, I mean directly Dr. Glory Hog. No. Ah. Zombies do not happen in this household, okay? Zombies get immediately taken out in this household. There is a certain criteria. Zombies gone. No. What if I could what if I could get better? You know, like through training or something. You're lying. I'm gonna have to nix that. He said, you're, nix he that. said you're lying. That's a strike? What yeah, a strike? How does he know that she's not my girlfriend? <clears throat> you are, and you don't know why you did it. Well, you suspect why, but this isn't time for a pitiful self-examination. Instead, you decide to double down. Yeah. Check my phone if you want, man. She's there at the top Check of my, my contact. Phone. Don't believe me? Check my ID. I'm totally 18. He looks at you suspiciously, but takes you up on his offer. Oh, only Dracula can count, and that's not true, Battle Cry. Count Von Count is the master. One. Uh, 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 <laughs> two, uh, 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 three. He is a wizard among... All kinds of vampires. Can Seeing I... the suggestive emoji Jess herself has put next to her name, he gives you an impenetrable, impenetrable stare. And the train. <laughs> he can definitely tell something is off, but doesn't bother to press it. First off, he doesn't Why? know. Because sometimes we give each other pet names that to other people might seem like verbal abuse. But it's because we care, <laughs> right? That's what you tell me when you call me those nasty names. That's exactly a doctor. I love you. <laughs> well, I suppose you two really are da 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 close. close. Just like you and Battle Cry like to hang out and have good times together. <laughs> and the doctor won Elder Vale. Hello, Nathan. How are you doing? Oh, God, Nathan. No, turn Dexter <laughs> away. Don't let Dexter watch. It's too much. <laughs> it is a little racy for Dexter, maybe. But we don't, we aren't saying anything. Oh, and Chocula also. Oh, yeah, Count Chocula. Chocula. Yeah. yeah, some vampires can count. As a vampire, should you change your voice? Like, does your voice change? Blah, blah, blah. No. We don't say blah, blah, blah. No. Instead of giving you back your phone, the man hides in his pocket. Dude, that's an iPhone. I haven't finished paying for that yet. My team mobile Has anybody paid for their iPhone yet? I mean, it's impossible. Oh. They keep coming out with new ones. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, I did pay off mine. Mine's like really old. But it's like, yeah. And I get the cheapest yeah. iPhone I can get. You basically use the iPhone until you can't use it anymore. And they're I'm like, like an old man now. And they're like, like, this does not support your, this like yeah. software does not support your iPhone. You're I like, go in there and I'm like, do you have any ones with 12 gigs? Mm -hmm. And they're like, sir, the lowest one is 128. And I'm like. Mm, but I only really need 12. Like Sansa. I only, I need, only 12. need 12. Gigs. Most of my music's on my Zoom, anyways. <laughs> oh my From god. From this point on, you are what subject to different laws than the ones you grew up under. And you'll be watched Ooh. by many eyes to ensure these laws are respected. Dexter's already in bed. What kind of game is it? It is a story based 
game where you kind of, it's like a choose your own adventure. It's okay? a potty mouth game is what it is for a potty mouth. It's, I know it's on Nintendo Switch for sure, but I think it is other places as well. So I think you can of course get it on Steam and stuff like that. But it's not going to take a, bun a bunch of space and everything because it is a basically a storytelling game that you're playing as you're going along. You get to pick the different, what is it, Ventor, Bruja, or Toreador, whenever you play and everything. And then only three. I was surprised it was only three as well. I thought there would be more, at least like the main. How the main expensive one. was this game? It was very inexpensive, I thought. I mean, at least I always get games on sale, everyone. So. I <laughs> I mean, this I'm might have been a five dollar game on sale or something, but I think it's maybe like ten or or fourteen dollars or something. Yeah, I would gladly pay fourteen dollars to cuss at this guy. <laughs> so you're forbidden from letting anyone know that you're still alive or from showing your face anywhere where they know you. Oh, hey, Echo, good job playing Stardew Valley. Good job with Stardew Valley there. Congrats. Yeah. It's over for both of you and them. I'm waiting for your mom to pop up on Animal Crossing. And be like, Animal Crossing! Every time we've played this, it seems like it's like, bloop, on Animal Crossing. I'm like, ooh. Katya's on Animal Crossing. He interrupts his monotone rec recitation and stares deep into your eyes. <laughs> so unless you want your girlfriend to end up at the bottom of the Hudson, I'd suggest you cooperate. I, I do want her. Whatever. I do want her at the bottom of the Hudson. She oh, sucks. Yeah, so she, don't cooperate, and then she'll be at the bottom yeah, of the Hudson. Yeah, she took I our dog. I feel like your plan is going really well, Doctor. Yeah. Added this on my wish list for a sale. Fair. Excellent, excellent job. Okay, so it's nineteen ninety nine. says Haunting Curse. Yeah, totally wait for the sale, because yeah, it's it, a perfect for sale game. It seems like, like one of those games that'll be like $10 during Halloween or something. So good, so he good. He proudly yeah. displays his fangs again. You put Jess in danger. Gosh darn it. Hmm. Gosh darn it! Dag nabbit! <laughs> These kids and their shenanigans. I can only hope that you care for her enough not to do anything shellfish. I don't. I don't care. Shellfish. I prefer to say a shellfish. Don't do anything shellfish. And then I just look them straight in the eyes like this You're and like, go, I'm allergic. Crab people, I'm allergic crab to people. shrimp. <laughs> shrimp out. <laughs> what? You gotta shrimp away. No, that's shrimping away. You go like this. This is shrimping away. Oh, oh, oh. Is this because you're Hawaiian that you know how to do that? Oh, shrimping oh, away? Oh. Probably. That's a Hawaiian thing. <laughs> well, there's, there's apple His word's shrimp, meant to imply otherwise. Shrimp. But by now, it's obvious he hates your guts as much as he is. Deal. I feel like. He's itching for a fight, and you're <laughs> almost willing to oblige. I like how they... They tell you that you want to slap this guy, but they're not going to give me the opportunity to slap him. I feel because like he's I played, might strike three and just end the game. He's played board games with us, is what it is. Yeah. Oh. It's like that animosity. I whenever will, like we've played board games, what was that one? Tigris and Euphrates or something? What was I will it? say something that this might surprise some of you. Everybody I've ever met in my entire life has a love-hate relationship with me. <laughs> they either love me and they think that I'm funny, or they want me to die in a fire yeah, slowly. Yeah, like really bad. One time you slapped a sandwich out of somebody's hand and they hate you forever. Like, Okay, first off, it, it was, was in his mouth. It was a comical joke, first off. Yeah, hold right. on. It was, okay, well, okay hold this. on. Let's back up. This, this is, is a serious vampire, vampire story, okay? This is a Vampire the Masquerade related story. Hold on. Okay. So we were playing a game of Vampire the Masquerade and I had a shotgun in my hand. Okay. And one of the other players... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the sandwich. I'm going to be the sandwich guy right here. In a second. Be the sandwich guy oh, in a second. okay, okay. So I'm holding the shotgun in my hand in this Vampire the Masquerade game. And the guy goes, oh, I want to go into a frenzy. He rolls for frenzy. He's like, I go into a frenzy and I just, I break the shotgun in your hand. Now, to be clear, he's in our party. So I'm not really sure why he's breaking my shotgun and being a jerk, but he is. And so I'm like, so I'm like, all right, I roll to attack you. Because I'm just like, at this point, I'm like done with this guy. His name's Tony. I think you know why. <laughs> so I'm ready to fight Tony slightly in real life, but definitely in game. And then he's like, what's your problem? That wasn't an aggressive action. I'm like... Me slapping anything out of someone's hands is aggressive action, and I demonstrated by slapping dice out of his hold hand. On. Like here, like yes. here. So, okay, he had so, his, like... so I said, hold your dice bag in your hand, and then I went like that, and he got mad and left the session and didn't come back for the next two weeks. That apparently was not an aggressive action for some people. I feel like I proved my point. So years <laughs> later, years later, maybe two years later, I'm okay, hanging out with okay. most of the same people because those people didn't hate me apparently, and there was this new guy who I didn't really know. And we were telling the story. We I feel were so bad for this new it. guy, everybody. And uh, he like he had it's a like, he, he had, no, I got he had the He's sandwich. Like... It wasn't a long ways. It was a short little bit of sandwich out of his mouth. So he's giving me a sandwich. I was just like, and he doesn't know this story, by the way. This guy's never met me. It's my first time meeting him. And I like he's like, oh, 
don't worry, it's not an aggressive action. And he did that the rest of the night, and I ignored him. And he forever hates me. And he will not accept my friend request on Facebook. And I'm so alone. Yeah, like that. All day. <laughs> That's a and he's story. friends with a lot of other people that I used to play RPGs with I all the feel time. Really and bad. He still hates me. It was a really, this day. really funny joke. If you, yeah. like 90% of the crowd knew what the joke was. He and it was, was hilarious. But that one person that didn't know yeah. what the joke was, who Dr. Glory House slapped the sandwich out of their hand, was probably not the person to slap the sandwich out of the hand of. To be fair, though. If you would have slapped anybody else's sandwich out of the hand, it would have been fine. To be fair, it was a non-aggressive action, as well, proposed that's fair. by Tony. That's fair. So he shouldn't have... It shouldn't have Non-aggressive been a action, okay? Slapping something out of somebody's hands. If you slap something out of somebody's, somebody's hands, hands and or mouth, apparently... Not aggressive. Not aggressive. I don't know. Not a big deal. I feel like it's a little aggressive, though. Oh, he's done lecturing us. Good. <laughs> Just so that we're clear. Don't mess with another man's sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he needed the break from that sandwich. He was spending a little too much time with it, if you know what I'm saying. The guy's a Euro gamer, says Battle Cry. He would be a Euro gamer. I feel like he would be. Yeah, yeah. he refuses. Yeah. I'm actually handsome, says Nathan. It's been like six years, and I heard that I was going to somebody's birthday party, and he heard that I was coming. And, and he then did, he didn't go. He declined he to go. Like, Just because, I, yeah, he changed his going to not going. <laughs> and I heard later it was because of me. It's good to know that high school stuff happens still at like in our 30s. Just as Joe Vlog says, to confirm, you just got between someone and the food. That I feel yeah. like that is somewhat of an offense. After I did have a sit down talk with Dr. Glory Hog and I told him how uncool it was to probably slap that sandwich out of somebody's hand. But at the time, it was so hilarious. It was so like, funny. And so you know what? Funny. If anybody ever games with us, I apologize first off. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> if anybody games fair. with us in real life, there are some serious sen I've, shenanigans that are going to happen. I've almost made Greg pee his I'm pants sorry. by calling him dirty names during a game. Sorry. <laughs> okay. There's a reason why I can play Rising Sun for four hours. When we're playing video games and board games online, that's pretty much how we're playing games, everyone, uh, okay? I, let's, let me just put it to you this way. This is me at my best. I'm on my <laughs> best behavior for this stream. That's true. <laughs> so anytime I'm not on stream, it's worse. I might be a little bit worse. I've, off I've offended people as well. A gaming. Yeah, you by have. teasing, like, well, more like just overly by your teasing face. and stuff. A and lot of times your face really freaks people out, to be fair. Is it this face? Yeah, you do that face a lot. And then people are like, oh, does your wife hate me? And I'm like, probably, but I'm not for sure. <laughs> and there was this whole to-do where they were like, didn't you know he was mad at you? And I was like, yeah, I knew. They're like, he was mad dog. And you all that. I'm like, so what was he going to do about it? And then he heard about that. That I thought he wasn't a threat, so I just didn't care. And then he got even more upset because then I didn't take his mad dogging seriously. It's a real thing. Men are very fragile. I'm just going to say. I'm one of them. So I'm just that we're clear, I have an authority. Like an egg. Right here, right now. This is not an idle threat. I know where you live, Jessica. Oh, oh wait, no. Wait, that's, oh, no. He knows Jessica. where you live, not just Jessica. Yeah. Well, he has my phone, so he probably does. So you go in and play along, or do we both have to do it the hard way? Is this going to actually be an option? You probably want to do the hard way. Punch the stranger. He throw a punch, hoping to stagger him and run out of the room. He can see it coming a mile away because he's got celerity eyes. He just he can see he very shoots fast. his hand up and grabs you by the wrist. Damn, he's strong. Hey, dang it, he's strong. Oh, gosh. Dang. gosh darn it, he's strong. He really shouldn't have done that. Why? Worth it. <laughs> it was worth a shot, buddy. It was worth a shot. Why are you like this? A dog as stupid as you deserves to be put oh, down. You feel the oh, bones in your wrist crack. It's still oh. worth it. You yelp in pain. Well, to be well, fair, if he calls you a dog, you shouldn't be like, yelp. <laughs> he's not human. He's not human. He's not human. He's not human. Hey. He's not human. He's not human. I just want to let you know, just in case. In case you were wondering, he's not human. Does anybody else like to, to, Eric, to say not human? Does anybody else like to say their ellipses out loud where you're like, he's not human? Da 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 da. <laughs> I feel like that adds gravitas. In your mind you have to in order to like get the right positioning of everything. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm yeah, glad yeah. that I'm not the only one. Yeah. You know what? I don't care anymore. I count that as strike three. Well, yeah, that was strike three because I told you to... Strike three? What happens? I told you to Oh my gosh, I've never flying. made it to strike three before. Okay, what happens? For a split second, it all becomes a blur. Suddenly, you feel a sharp pain in your chest. You realize you can't move a muscle. The man throws you over shoulder like a sack of potatoes and carries you out of the room. 
You can only see snippets zoning out. I'm falling in love with this guy right now. <laughs> but 10 out of 10, wood dating. And this is the best Tinder date I've ever been on. Because I've never been on Because he saved one. you from all the people you murdered? <laughs> He's rescuing me. He's like my knight in shining he's like, armor. Oh, thank you. As he's carrying me away, I'm slowly singing, I need a hero. No one stops the man as he carries your helpless body out of the building and throws in the back of his Yeah, his nobody's going to stop that dude. You drift out of consciousness. Everything goes dark again. First off, if you see a I think crazy, a big, f- lanky, 12 strikes or more, <laughs> I feel like I just got in a fight with John Wick and I lost, but I'm okay with it. Did I actually lose? No, I don't know. I'm in an endless void of nothingness. I personally did not push the envelope. I was like, yeah. Suddenly a wet squelch-like sound rings out in your ears. Moist. That's probably fine. You just hear the word. Don't say moist with wet and squelching. Mm. What's wrong with you? You just hear the sound. Oh, God. Then your chest explodes with an excruciating ache. Disembodied, you find yourself slowly entrapped by a horrified dead flesh. (laughs) Hello, my honey. Hello, my darling. Did you just, like, die? I don't if know. you just like ended the game, resurrection. okay, resurrection. Okay. There you go. Okay. You suck air through your teeth as you all wake, right. hoping that was all a nightmare. Huh. It was just a dream, Alice. It wasn't. The gasp doesn't bring you any comfort, and you quickly <laughs> realize it's nothing more than a residual instinct. You don't actually breathe in nor out, and so your you heart can't is blow still candles. as still. As this is for be. your own good, sis. <laughs> it wonder, was. Do you think he spanked me? <laughs> no. <laughs> do you think he did? I mean, you were being, well, you know, and you're not going to get into that. You weren't. When when I see him next time, should I call him daddy? No. I don't know if he'll appreciate that. I feel like he's already taking more interest in me than most of my stepfathers did in my life. That is fair. That is fair. You know, he has been a father figure to you already. He really has. He has been there at least 12 minutes. I'm definitely making, giving this guy a father's day card for sure. This is, thanks, Pops. That's fair. All right. Sight comes back to you as you focus on the features of an unfamiliar room. You see a slow fan. You don't need a fan. You're dead. Like, why do you care about that fan? Look at all those sparkles in the air. Oh, like, look at get... vampire. Do you need to have a red light? Like, we get it. You're dead and you like blood. Does that help the red light? I think it helps with the ambiance of it all. Because as a vampire, you really care what about ambiance. If as a vampire, the red light looks totally different. So it's so you don't have to wash as well whenever you get blood on the floor. Because just like you got like, oh, it looks like you got some water on the floor. You're like, yeah, water. Don't step in it. It's very slippery. No windows. Blood is not like water at all. Just sl- <laughs> it's not even close. Hmm, I'm a little nervous now. <laughs> it's very thick and sticky, okay? <laughs> a small humming fridge. You don't need a fridge. And a rattling AC fan in the wall. Don't need that either. You're just wasting electricity. You notice claw marks maybe on the inner side like, of the entrance door. Maybe you need to be chilly. Maybe you're warm. Rise and shine, fledgling. You got places to be. Okay, daddy. <laughs> you started, you're startled by the sound of the stranger's voice. There he is, standing in the doorway expectantly. You can't say that. We're going to get a weird audience <laughs> if you continue that. His suit is immaculate as yesterday, but it's the same suit. He slept in it or did he sleep <gasps> over? Who knows? Oh, my gosh. But is, any, hold on, hold on. Hold but on. his presence strikes you. I just want to make sure. If anybody makes sure to reference Dr. Glory Hogg as daddy on any other, any further streams, that would be excellent. Why are you encouraging this? It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Okay. There's only two people that call me daddy. <laughs> one of them is my little brother. And you're and the, the next other one. one is battle cry. So. <laughs> I need to be in an air conditioned fan. <laughs> You remember the last thing you felt while looking at his face? The bones in your hand being crushed into an oozing pulp of gross, moistness. Gross. Gross. So moist. It's so gross. What? Like ice cream that's melting on no, the counter. No, stop it. That's gross. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. Oh, God. <laughs> that's what she said. You look at your fingers, but they're almost fully mended. Oh, sweet. With just a bit of bruising, like an old banana Would left out mind? on the counter next to that hog. It does. I just want ice cream. I just Would want ice cream. Would you mind playing tricks on you? Probably. <laughs> You're going to get a weird audience. Does that all cry? Puking. Going to get a weird audience? That's true. Well, we already have a weird, weird audience. That's, that's fair. <laughs> I feel like up to this point, I've already set the stage with this guy. So if I didn't say screw you, he'd, we love our he'd be weird worried. audience. Well, that's true. Well, that is true. He would feel like you were being out of the ordinary. So you do have to kind of follow through. So I'm just looking at him. I'm like, hey, screw you, butt face. 
the butt face is what sold it. Despite your previous misbehavior, I'm offering you a polite handshake, whelp. Why would he call me whelp? I feel like that's just antagonizing me. I like my polite handshake. How does a polite handshake work? That's a horrible handshake. Why do you... What? No. Before we leave... All right, you ready? Okay, okay, handshake. okay. Over the top. Oh, God, that's not light. Oh, no. Oh, God, you're showing there. Why do I have to make a Sylvester Stallone reference to Over the Top, the best movie about Arnold Why? Is? Why? I'm so sorry. <laughs> You put me in a position where I felt like I needed to arm wrestle you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of our show. <laughs> just too late, says so just Jeff Watts. The man glances at his watch and then turns his eyes to you again. <laughs> You're expected. Get in the car. You have more questions? Where I'm taking you, you'll get the answers. Probably more than you're able to handle. <laughs> I feel like that's how it's... Oh, yeah. Um... I'm dead, right? You can at least acknowledge I'm dead. <laughs> like, we're clear on this, right? It's a philosophical conundrum that I don't feel... I don't have to look all these words Whoa, up. Whoa, hold on. And I don't feel competent Medically to solve. Medically speaking, Medically you're speaking, deceased. you're deceased. So just say I'm dead. You, Dude, you add 20 minutes to every conversation by just being annoying. Okay, so Battle Cry, this is serious. He Clearly oh. 283 years like old. He's yeah. got, why is it the older yeah. that you get, the more time you have to spend like driving slowly and talking? <laughs> You're old. You're going to die soon. Speed oh my gosh. up. He's going to totally drive you around. Let too. me tell you, so, when, I, when I hit my golden yeah. years, like five years from you, now, okay. I'm going to start abbreviating everything. I'm going to be like, TGIF, am I right? I won't have time to say the words because I am dying. Well, you mean like TGIF, am I right? Am I right? Am I right? right? <laughs> Cash me outside. How about that? <laughs> All right. And yet you're standing here Ooh. thinking, talking, stalling. I'm not stalling. I'm stalling. Wait, you just... No. Enough is enough. Are you getting inside the car? Are you really, really willing to risk a fourth strike in this match? I thought See, three strikes and I'm out. 12 strikes. Battle Cry was right. It's 12 strikes, apparently. Okay. Oh, yeah, hijack the car. That's probably bad. You're the car, bad. That's your only option. You push past the stranger and rush to the driver's door. You open the car and reach for the keys. A strong, firm grasp on your shoulder yanks you back violently. He tugs your hair, whispers in your ear. What? <laughs> You're thrown to the cold concrete out of the car. The man produces a sharp piece of wood from his pocket and slams it into your chest. He carries around Holy a stake. Holy crap. Well, you've been staked the entire time. That's how you got here. He staked you. And then, like, you were like, look. I'm just going to say that me and him and are not going like, to get along. Well, I'm just saying, you've been staked 90% of the time. <laughs> it's a familiar feeling. <laughs> Shut pain, muscles tensing, paralysis, then a feeling of all-encompassing exhaustion. You it know doesn't what? sound that bad. It's like a spa. It's it's very relaxing, actually. So You see the car trunk know? opening, then the trunk closes with your body inside. The last thing you sense is the engine starting. Vroom, vroom, baby. Then you're all wrapped in all-encompassing nothing. It sounds like a nice break. Honestly, I feel like that's there's the best way to get sleep. Honestly. There's times during our live streams that I wish you would stake me just so I could escape. <laughs> Was that whenever we were playing Dwellings of Elder Ale? Why well, must you bring up my greatest shame? <laughs> she hasn't played it since because she knows I'll beat her. Beat her. I have a good win will, streak will, going on. <laughs> yeah, your win streak is 1-1 one, one in that game, but back into the familiar <laughs> void. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Squelch, squelch. I mean, I can't make a good sculpting sound. Like, how do you do that? That was it. That was sculpting, right? I hope Feeling everybody heard that. Your limbs. <laughs> Sight and hearing follow. You're in a brightly lit room. Paintings on the wall. Soft music. Is that Kenny G? Mmm, not bad. <laughs> Keeping it sexy, my man. <laughs> Keeping it sexy. <laughs> An art gallery, perchance? <laughs> or is it fake artist? How many games do you think I can work into this? Oh. <laughs> or is it or is it the other sax guy that's like bam, 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 bam. no he said bam, 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 bam. God, what's bam, wrong with you bam, bam, bam. Jeez. you know what it is it's dan the game boy geek playing his sax serenade <laughs> to his favorite game sagrada what's up with this art on the wall first off like this is if you walk into an art gallery and this is a sort of art that they have on their wall. That's Get a vampire nervous. art gallery. Get nervous. I like that he just has his stake out. Like he's prepared to stab me again. He's like, I don't want to wait. He's got his stake out. He's like, he has celerity. He could probably move extra fast. And he's just, just in case. 
He's no, like, be like just I don't want to waste the milliseconds it would take me to stake you. I'm going to have this stake in hand at all times. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> They didn't call me whelp, so I think oh, it's improving. That's nice. I feel like your relationship is growing at this point. <laughs> Every time you die, the scenery gets better. That's true. I think if I keep dying, about two dozen faces observe your every move, and a number of waiters navigate the gathering, serving drinks. None of them are acknowledged by the people they're attending. So they're jerks. If you treat the yeah, waitstaff bad, like, you're a bad you know person. What? Always tip your waiter, all right? Those people work for like Nothing. Okay. Oh, the okay. guests are well dressed, mostly, but it's unclear why they've gathered here. Nobody seems particularly interested, and the art pieces on the walls and the atmosphere is polite, oh, but God. naturally so. It's like you're in Canada, but you want out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bakusagi, what Dragon Quest builder? Good job. Good job, Bakusagi. Good job. Good job. Something about everyone's eyes make it abundantly clear they are here for you. Are they giving you this eye, the smolder, where they're like? <laughs> that's how i wooed her i just looked at her from across the bus i think the fledgling is ready to take your questions Trent. i think i really got your attention when i did the that was definitely it it definitely wasn't whenever i went to give you the kiss and you were like oh I didn't know we were it on a date. It definitely wasn't that part <laughs> i didn't know we were on a date okay she surprised me for the first moment to ever try to kiss me, even my own mother. <laughs> Blue Steel says that'll cry. <laughs> and look at who the stranger was addressing. You expect a man, but it's a somewhat plain looking woman. So you immediately dismiss her because you're a misogynist. No, it's oh. not a plain. Why would it be a plain looking woman? All she vampires look are like plain super at all. awesome. All right. Like, does she look plain to you? No, no. She first off, she has crazy gold eyes. And look at that haircut like that. Nobody wears hair like she that. She definitely wants to see my manager. Oh. Is that a Karen? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to say? I'm saying that nobody with a magical scarf that has patterns that fly off and around her looks plain. I didn't even notice that, but 100% right. What is up with her scarf? I always find it interesting when people write these things because they're like a plain looking woman. I would notice her on the subway. I wouldn't just be like, hmm, hmm just walls. I just see walls. I see nothing else here. <laughs> Good evening, miss. Excuse so me, what? So it would seem, or, Kadir. Huh, good evening, Not a child. child. Who are you calling a child? Pup kiss. Wow. The Prince of New York. Elena. Wow. Oh. It's about ready to get serious up in here. <gasps> Prince up in here. Oh, you will show respect. Michaela. Thank you, my sheriff. Oh, your sheriff is a real D, you know what, bag. What? He's a D bag. It's just because you got staked a couple times. That was your fault. That was your own fault for getting staked like that. I like how she's like, thank you, my chef. But I'm capable of introducing myself. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Nick Riviera. <laughs> you might remember from other such movies, such as You're Dead and Get Out My Way. She doesn't seem to possess a great deal of charm, but oh still the God. entire room is intently focused on her voice. Like they're staring at her words like this. Oh, which reminds me that some people like, what is it, think in words instead of thinking in like their internal voice. Some people don't have an internal monologue. Some people don't have an internal monologue. And this is how this lady is right now. Okay. She thinks in words. <laughs> I feel like every... No, I'm leaving that alone. No, no. You shall address me as Prince Child. Or can I call you the artist formerly known as Prince? No. I told you you no. have proven to be quite a it's burden. It's a century haircut. <laughs> ha! I've made your, I've made the sheriff's life a little turn. <laughs> Good, because he's a jerk. Our dear sheriff, Quadir. Good. Quadir. I'm Quadir? glad. I'm glad he's mad. I hope he throws out his arm staking me. <laughs> I hope he's like, oh, tennis elbow oh, from God. all the staking. Oh my arm. Jeez. And it's not your first attempt at escaping the proper order of things, too. Truly, you seem to be unruly to the point where it might read as suicidal. Oh God, she knows too much. <laughs> Hush voices fill the room. One of the faces catches your eye. Is it Jessica? Oh, this is going to be a beautiful woman, everybody. Get ready. The last woman, oh, plain. This totally one, plain. Beautiful. Yeah, I can't explain Blood you how plain she was. And address the match. You see her leaning by some bespeckled man. She looks okay. at you briefly. This woman is not plain. Okay, hold on. Get ready. Okay. Oh, God. Not, not yet, but be ready. The woman <laughs> who called herself Prince glances around the room expectantly. The whisper sees... No, we're still not there oh, yet. dang it. We've already heard all we need to hear about your behavior, but there's one thing you may not know. So they tell us this woman is playing, and then a really good-looking woman's there, but we don't get to see her. Not yet. 
I mean, it's coming, I guess. Your sire, the person who brought you here, where uh, Kadir picked you up last night, who were they? A feisty, a feisty woman. woman. <laughs> a Latina woman, very radical. Unless she convincingly lied to me, she was special. Oh, burn. That is a big burn. Why would you say that? You're a mean person. Hey, buddy, you went to the hotel with her. That's on yeah, you. Yeah, for real, Eric. If Jeez. you have regrets, that's on you. Oh. Extraordinarily, she had fire, conviction, temper. She just seduced me easily, in fact. Made me think she wanted me. I fell for it. No, I'm here. A damsel in distress. How does that make you feel? It could happen. Like being used like that? You're like, no. Yeah. It happens. Uh, he makes it sound like she like attacked him, but I feel like he was a participant. <laughs> it feels awkward talking to a room full of strangers about what seemed like a random one-night stand at the time. I don't like one-night stands. I prefer Calyxes. <laughs> <laughs> They're good to carry all your board games. I mean, not to mention that even though that Latina made an impression on you for sure, her face is already fading from your mind. I don't think so. I, she was. Am I the bad guy in this? I'm just saying the le that Latina woman was very pretty and voluptuous. Why would that fade from your mind? That does not seem. No, you'd be thinking about her for a little while. Seriously, though, are we the bad guys? Probably. Wait, Kadir, does that sound familiar? He's like, no, it doesn't. I don't know any Latinos. Well, that's messed up, dude. Kadir. What's or at least not you? familiar enough. I will continue to search after we're done here. Can I go now? Uh, the steps that she spoke to may know. I'm not going to help these people out. I'm like, yeah, can I go now? Like, I'm done. This is boring. I told you what. I know. Can I go now? This is fair. No, definitely not. Oh, good. Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> what shall I do with my fledgling, my prince? What should I do with the fledgling, my prince? What is your recommendation, my sheriff? I like when people call each other by their titles. No. That would be no. like if, like, all right, CEO, what do I do? I don't know, comp controller. Tried, what should you do? Battle cry, so she tried to kiss him and he pulled off. <laughs> That's what yeah. happened. The traditions are clear. Thou shalt only sire another with the permission of thine elder. If thou is creedeth another without his thine elder's leave, both thou and thy progeny shall be slain. You think they would have updated that a little bit by now, especially like being vampires? I think you have time to like update all that stuff, right? It's very long. It would take a long time. Why would to you start that. saying thighs and stuff though? Like I feel like that's kind of like they're talking like they did in Monty Python when they're talking about the holy hand grenade. And thy shall not <laughs> say sweetie. <laughs> and on thy thy tooth, thy grenadeth will launch. I am eager to do my duty. Peace. I wish duty. our child would do that about our dishes. Do thine dishes? Or say I'm be ready eager. To do my duty. I'd be eager about my duty. <laughs> I just want the kid to do the dishes. That's all I want, everyone. Stay your hand for just a moment longer, Kadir. I wish to consult my counsel on this. Make sure everyone is in agreement to kill this random vampire that nobody cares about. I'm pretty sure they're in agreement. To of kill course. you? Yeah, why wouldn't they be? I am the worst. I would kill me at this point. Because you were all wily? Yeah, I'm annoying. What if, like, they like kind of wily? He I like wily. I he, mean, I married you. So. He relaxes a bit and closes his eyes like a cat. Slow works. <laughs> Oh, blink. The yes. prince. Oh, quotation marks. The prince. Like, I don't even believe it. The prince leaves the main showroom and about six people follow her out. Where's this beautiful What if woman? that was the thing? Like, what if, and in time you went and you're like, well, the prince. Oh, you're getting killed. Like, for that, sure. you would get so murdered. Like, yeah. oh my God. You're about to ask Kadir what all the talk of traditions and council was when the red haired woman approaches the two of you. Yes, finally. She better not be like Meredith from Brave or something. <laughs> oh, it's him. Oh, Soapy. He is a very good looking no, man. Oh, that's Kadir. Soapy. There's Soapy. Oh, my God. <laughs> a red haired woman. I can't even handle myself right now. I am what they call shooketh. Oh, uh, have you seen the Star Wars TikToks with the readings from the book of Star Wars? No, I have not. That's probably pretty good. I'll have to get on that. Yeah. I Sheriff. Thought. Sorry. Sheriff, I was wondering if I could have a word with the fledgling. Oh, my. What for? <laughs> You're like she the lowers worst her voice in response. Okay, lower your voice in response. Come now, Kadir. <laughs> that can only be on one verdict given the circumstances. Let me speak to him. You might not have to stain your hands, not after all. Wear gloves. Oh, my God. It's safer. 
What Hello, if I- Marie. How are you doing? Ooh. Hello, Dan. This is awkward. <laughs> Hi, mother-in-law. So we're playing Vampire the Masquerade Coteries right now, which is on Nintendo Switch. It is $19.99. And it is a story-based game where you go ahead and choose your own adventure style thing. I feel kind of dirty playing this game in front of your mom. Movement. You can't. You have to keep going. What if I want to get them <laughs> That was not a good line for her to enter in on. This stubborn whelp has caused me quite the headache. I'm in the mood to return the favor. Have you really... To give you a headache? Have you really become so eager to let the beast? He should probably speak? give you like four energy drinks. That's not the Kadir I know. <laughs> but I've learned to respect. That grabs his attention. His face is hard to read, like the granite stone cliffs of Dover. Is like Kadir like me? Is my face hard to read like that? I'm like. I try not to look at your like, face. What's that face? It gets what's me in face? trouble every time. <laughs> Several emotions are struggling for our. Domination, anger, sadness, resolve, resilience, ingenuity, Excitement. fierceness, ferocity, Expectation. gravity, viscosity. No, no. <laughs> Dab you, Langley. No, you said dang you, Langley. Dang you, Langley. His eyes flare with contempt. <laughs> I'm really old and I can't control my face. <laughs> Five minutes and not a moment Hold longer. On. That is true. If you're like 283 years old, you would 100% be able to control your face. Like, like nobody's business. Yeah, Nobody I would like, be able to tell what I'm the heck like you were doing. I'm like not even 40 and I'm like a perfect actor. You can never tell what's going on. It's like so stoic and resolved. He storms out of the room the way you came and you were left in the show with this beautiful woman in a red dress. Wait, did he she just takes like, you aside. do a storming baby leave? Like, where he was and like, the mm. eyes, the remaining guests follow. What, him or us? Kadir, do you storm out of the room on like a baby? Well, Fledgling, you managed to get under Kadir's skin. Not an easy feat. He's such a kind and forgiving person. No, oh, he's not. You are he staked pic- you like twice already. You're yeah. like in trouble. Okay, I'll leave, says Marie. <laughs> You know what, Marie? Uh, uh, that's, that's fair. I'm actually going to say this probably would be a game you would really like because you played the murder mysteries with us and stuff. So this has a very nice story-based game. It is on Switch. It's Vampire the Masquerade, Coteries of New York. <laughs> you are in a precarious position and in need of allies. You're lucky that I've decided to attend this meeting tonight. What is this circus? What the hell is with this party for rich sickos? Looks like something straight out of a conspiracy theory. Like some dark secret cabal. Is this QAnon? That's actually, Secret Cabal is actually a really nice board game group, so. (laughs) Oh, that's fair. (laughs) Everyone here knows a thing or two about conspiracies, but we don't have time to discuss those right now. So I'll stick to explaining what concerns you most directly by talking in very long sentences. Last night, you became a vampire. Okay, that was straightforward. So. Wait, what? If somebody just came up to you and was like, last night you became a vampire. Yeah, I would say, wait, what? Ellipses? <laughs> oh, yes. I am well aware of how ridiculous that sounds. It's why we have those nicer words for it. Hold Kindred, on. being embraced, having a sire, the fact remains. Battle cry says, it's been 20 minutes and you haven't died yet. You know what? There's always room for improvement on that battle cry, okay? Uh, to be fair, I've only been allowed to select like six dialogue choices. So <laughs> I struck out with four of them. The beings called vampires, you're looking at them. They are us. <gasps> Oh my. I don't know why I'm doing this with my hands. I don't know either. That's I not how like... you, if you do that as a vampire, I'm going to totally feel like you're a vampire. That's true. You glance around and some of the guests are still occasionally looking at you. Do I not amaze you? We are kind of amazing. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Many of the patrons are pale, really pale. Most hold glasses of wine. That's just like hanging out. That's glasses of blood. Oh, oh. no, not wine. You know what? That's not the right thickness. Their viscosity leads me to believe that this is blood. <gasps> Type O negative. And not the right color either. At this point, hold on. At this point, like, if you're walking around and you notice the viscosity of people's drinks in glasses, like, well, I guess as a vampire you would because, like, you're hyper alert, right? I'm just going to say that off of somebody who just raged, like, attacked two people for blood, I'm thinking he would notice a bunch of blood and glasses around him, right? He just raged attacked two people for blood. You don't think he would notice it? Like, when I'm really into eating Cheetos, I'm going to notice Cheetos in the room. I'm not going to be no, like, no, no, no. I don't notice these Cheetos. 
No, because you just ate a bunch of Cheetos and like you're full up on Cheetos right now, right? <laughs> full up on Cheetos? Win. Nobody gets full on Cheetos. They're puffed air. Oh, the Vanna White of the Vampire Universe. Does that all cry? <laughs> okay, this sounds like me. You're trying to come up with something sensible to say, but you're drawing a blank. So you just give them the blue steel and walk away. That's fair. That's something you definitely would do. It makes a morbid kind of sense. You drank blood last night. There's no denying it. And your breathing has not returned. Yeah, usually if your breathing has returned your and it's been like 10 minutes, you're probably still. dead. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> no, it's supposed to remain still, doctor. Jeez. A vampire? A vampire? Two, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Two voices in your head start battling for supremacy. I feel like you may need some meds. One of them slowly begins to put everything that happens to just together, coming to the conclusion that no matter how insane it might seem, nothing but what she's saying makes sense. That was my dramatic acting. Was it good? The other voice just keeps saying, What the? What the? What the? What the? Oh, <laughs> That's the voice I'm listening to. The one that says, What the? What the? What the? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Remember when they played the F word on radio and they'd always do like an yeah. We don't need no water. Let the mother yeah. burn. Burn. That was mother. like one yeah. song, though. Well, that's right? the one I remember because it well, was ridiculous. Okay. So you're surprised. This is often how it plays out by design. Kadir deliberately keeping you in the dark and all. If we do nothing, you will be cut down as sure as day follows night. And night so, follows day. And day follows night in this endless torment. Basically, this is Kadir's like mm -hmm. sick joke. Because like he keeps you in the dark. He doesn't tell you anything. Mm -hmm. And then he gets you here and he's like, surprise, you're a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a real jerk. Yeah, no, this I feel like Kadir is a jerk at this point. I'm here to offer you a chance, a way out. Under one condition, you buy me Arby's. It's where the meat is. Gross. Vampires you, don't eat Arby's. They probably do. They at least want, like eat White Castle, okay? Like, you don't go to Arby's. You are in hot water after Kadir's account of your behavior thus far. The society values docility. docility. Like every society <laughs> ever. I feel like vampires would not be the right ones to be like, we need you to be docile. Like the humans, the cattle we feed on? <laughs> I think not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a huge risk. Risk if I speak out for you, but I'm willing to take you under my wing. It's a chicken wing. Get up under it. If you swear fatalty to me. Well, or fetal, fetal tea. tea. I'm going to say fetal tea, not fatal tea. I'm not rubbing I her feet. I don't know if you want to be fatal. Those are 200-year-old feet. I'm not rubbing them. Fatal paper cuts a very special person, okay? I rub his feet. <laughs> I am not making this offer lightly. As your Patreon, we do have a Patreon, patron. by the way. The patron, oh, not a Patreon. I mean, we have a Patreon mm -hmm. that you can go ahead and visit in the links below. However, this is a patron. But if you don't like this, don't go to our Patreon. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will take responsibility for you. Your actions will reflect on me. Yeah, your our actions reflect on you. You wanted to see your this. actions reflect on me. I mean, I put this together and if they reflect negatively, very badly. <laughs> well, I will make sure you face the consequences. <laughs> Like reduced ad spending on YouTube. Rude. You'll make me your servant. That seems like something I would say. So let me get this straight. You will make me your servant in exchange for my life. That's the deal? Because that's basically, that's pretty accurate. Probably. The, the most jerky answer seems like the most natural answer to me. And I'm worried that, that means I'm a bad person. <laughs> if you insist on putting it in such pedestrian Hold terms. Hold on. So... In life, you're saying you always give the most jerky of answer? According to this, yes. Not always. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say I'm like that? Um, I feel like that's pretty close to the truth. <laughs> you knew what you were getting. <laughs> we dated like for 20 years. <laughs> At least it felt like it. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, that is the deal, as you so eloquently put it. Oh, she's shaming him for she's his vocab. She's like, oh, God. She's like, I bet you did not do the, well in the spelling bee in third grade. Hold on, that's the worst. If you get online and the vocab police come after you, that Ooh. makes me so sad. They're like, like, your. It's your. <laughs> it's you are, okay? It's your. 
<laughs> I'm like, oh, dang it. I just typed really yeah, fast. Actually, I'm so no, sorry. The, the first example of like the grammar place was probably my father saying, ain't ain't a word. It ain't in the dictionary. And so then me being a jerk, which actually now, <laughs> now that I think about it, now I know my kid is always trying to like to one up Like me. one up you, yeah. I went to the dictionary. I was like, it's right here. Ain't. And he was like, go to your room. <laughs> The alternative is, is I fear final death of the hands of the deer here tonight, period. Oh my gosh, it's like every parent's like thing ever. Like if some sh crap doesn't happen, the they're room. like, go to your room. Doctor, go to your room. Okay. <laughs> I thought this is my room. Steps and hush voices can be heard from the side room. Oh gosh. We should get some Chipotle later. We should get some Chipotle later. It seems like the prince and the counselor returning to the showroom. She's ugly and bland. I know this because that's what it said. No. Oh, like wait, the that redhead. was the prince. That was the prince. Yeah. That's right. Prince, okay, yeah, the prince. The prince is not disgusting. Just a terrible person. The worst person. person I've ever seen. I don't even know if I would Unrecognizable. like. Unrecognizable. Oh. If she walks in the room, I'll be like, I'm sorry, did we meet? <laughs> Who are so you? So bland. God. You look like a piece of Iron Kid's bread Basically. to me. Basically. <laughs> White bread. I don't even see you. You're like the wallpaper. You're like Anne from Arrested Development. I'm wow. sorry, have we met? I'm sorry, have God. we met? Kadir appears from downstairs as well. From the well? <gasps> he's like the grudge. No, he's oh. no, he's not from the grudge. What's wrong with you? Right, he's from the ring. I'm Kadir sorry. Kadir starts and from starts downstairs walking over to you, well. glowering like this. It's not glowering. Glowering's like, oh, you got a good glower. Yeah, you got glower power. <laughs> when you hear the verdict, ask to be spared. I will intervene. Remember my condition. She flashes a sad smile Hold towards on. Kadir, who does not smile doctor, back. Doctor, doctor, ask to be spared. Mm -hmm. Remember, ask to be doctor. Ask, dad, doctor, look at me. Ask to be spared. Ask to be spared. No. God, well, this is not going to go well. The sheriff's immaculate suit is now complemented by a curved, oriental-looking metal scabbard fastened no. with a colorful sash around his waist. He's looking fancy as hell. If you have a really big sword, you gotta look fancy. Like, that's the thing. It would look vaguely <laughs> ridiculous if it wasn't surprisingly intimidating, first and foremost. Everybody knows Kadir. that. I think I'm falling a really in love giant with, I sword think I'm falling is in love very with intimidating. Yeah. I think our character is falling so. in love I with Kadir. So. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Kadir takes his place next to you and observes as the prince takes center stage. Oh, I'm sorry. Have we met? Who is this bland woman? <laughs> Loyal kindred of the New York Camarilla gathered here tonight. I have made my decision regarding this fletchling. As you are keenly aware, these nights we needed to close our ranks and trust the wisdom of our elders. And their traditions more than ever before. This whelp's behavior since being embraced has been disagreeable and uncouth, and he smells like Cheeto dust. And that does not bode well for the, him becoming a valuable member of our society. Although I acknowledge some of my council's divergent opinions on this, I heard Divergent wasn't a very good movie. Oh, really? It didn't do very well. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. It was supposed to be like multiple movies, and I think they only did two. Oh, God. She takes a look specifically at one of the people who left the room before. A shy-looking man. He's a never-nude named Tobias Fouke, <laughs> whose skin has a somewhat healthier tone. He bows his head in deference. I hold the final authority over this fledgling's fate, and I declare that while the embrace might be the sire's responsibility, in the absence, it is the prodigy that shall be punished. It's progeny. Okay. <laughs> it's not prodigy. Not... No, 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 that's a band. <laughs> the sentence is final death to be resolved presently. Kadir, you hear a scraping sound. Oh, God. And see, the sheriff has unsheathed his curve. So, okay, yeah, you're falling in love with him. You're definitely falling in love with oh, him. My. This is smutty. Oh, my. This is... Oh, my. I hope Marie's still not on. <laughs> I, could not, I could not play this during church, is what I'm saying. Why are you playing the switch during church? That's between me and my gods. <laughs> it is a beautifully detailed blade, which you expect must be worth oh, a small fortune. Oh, you know what? Fortune. Okay, hold on. If you're going to get your head chopped off by a blade, it better be a beautifully detailed blade. That it's is... apparent sharpness. makes you freeze up. Is that a Ginsu knife? Insanely <gasps> You can get those for three easy payments of twenty nine ninety five <laughs> on the Home Shopping Network. You're scared. Two outs, bottom of the ninth. He's still talking baseball. Oh, why? Does, Does this like guy... So much. Does this guy look like he's a baseball fan? No, 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 no. 
It yeah. ruins the facade. Kadir is not a Mets fan. I feel like if you're trying to look like a BA, you're not talking about baseball all the time, right? Unless God. you're like from that guy from Especially The Walking Dead. You have you have a samurai sword. You don't have a bat, like with a nail in it. Yeah. Agreed. It's a samurai sword. His quiet mumble is audible to nobody but you. And he goes, Chipotle. Oh, I thought we were uh, doing Chipotle still. Chipotle. Sorry. <laughs> As his eyes meet yours, you note know, just a hint of sadness in his countenance. One that quickly vanishes to give way to grim determination. I think he does want to kill me. Why is he sad now? No, I think he's sad about killing you. And but he's like, out about, but he seemed eager earlier. He also wants to kill you. He's like half and half <gasps> in his heart. You live forever. You need a hobby, Pierce. We were just I'll talking. Love you, Pierce. <laughs> we were just talking about that time I smacked that sandwich out of Cruz's mouth and how he hates me. Boom. That's right. And he's out to bed. Explain the whole story. You will not get another chance to speak up. Doctor, ask for mercy. Ask for mercy, doctor. It's the only chance you have. Ask for mercy. What'd you do? What'd you I do? Ask I for mercy. See. Okay, oh God. Sophie's gaze, the red-haired woman is disappointed after realizing you're not about to speak up. Last chance. The eyes of the crowd focus on you. You know what's coming. They're waiting for it excitedly. Last chance. The sheriff's ridiculous sword raised above you. It was beautiful earlier. Now it's just ridiculous. Did you go ahead and Menacing. say it? Menacing. Inevitable. Did you, did you ask for Last mercy? chance. Did Last you ask chance. for mercy? Last chance. You run in a desperate, no, ugly panic No, doctor. Doctor. <laughs> doctor. Doctor. You run out of there like you need help. Oh, God. My hair is really long. In a split second, the world around you spins. You tumble awkwardly. You hear gasps. The last sound you hear in your voice is, you spin me right round, no, baby, right round no, like a... No, no, The crowd divides into those who pretend to be disgusted by the sight and those who take it in, in unabashedly. There on the floor, two legs cut off cleanly above the... Oh, you talk off my legs? Oh, no, I'm never going to be a track star now. <laughs> Here you no. are lying on the ground. The stumps end and around the middle of your thigh. Okay, I did push a little bit. Just then Blade crashes it. through the ceiling and begins clearing the room. If only battle cry. I'm to just be gonna fair, say, I feel like he didn't really punish me on my fourth strike, so I really didn't think the fourth no, strike no, would no. count against no, me. No, no, no. I told you exactly you needed to pick Mercy. Like, you have to, you've got to pick Mercy. Hey, he is pretty big bones, though. Look at that. Those are some nice ham hocks. I can't believe he did that. You want to scream, but Kadir's oriental blade cuts through your vocal cords before you make a sound. Darkness for good this time. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, sorry. Let's do it like disturbed. Hello, no, I can't. No, no, I no, can't. no. Did I die for real? Hey, guys, you seem like you're starting over, eh? <laughs> we will be. You know what I needed was that was that Game fairy. Game over, man. Was that fairy that, hey, Hunter's playing Animal Crossing. Game over, man. What I needed was that fairy that goes, hey, hey, listen. There's no fairies Ask in Vampire mercy. the Masquerade. Oh. Look at you just lost the game. You lost. The game, Doctor, you lost the game. To be fair, I didn't think I could lose a narrative game. I didn't think this would I happen. I told you, I 100% how, how do you need, I, I looked into your eyes, I said, Doctor. I looked away. Ask for mercy, Doctor, Doctor, ask for mercy. And I gave you the kiss and then like, what happened? Did you not listen to me? You kissed me, so I tried to run away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't know that there was going to be consequences for my actions, or I might have done it differently. Doctor, there's always consequences for your actions in Vampire the Masquerade. What the heck? If anything, died in the intro, classic dude. Yes, if right, it's Pierce. It's anyone's fault. It's Pierce's fault because he remembers the first time no. we met in Vampire the Masquerade, and I tried to fight him, <laughs> and he knocked me out cold with one hit. Is it really a loss? No. I feel like this guy's life wasn't that That's great. It. The stream, the stream is done. The stream is done. You Here's just lost the, the game. I keep trying to be a bruja and I keep getting my butt kicked. That's the problem. Maybe you should have picked like Ventor. If I would have picked Tordor, I would have been eloquent. Oh. Well, maybe you should no, have done I that. Have been. Oh. You missed all of the excellent content that was in this game. Hey, thank, they thanked me for playing though. Why do I? Why do I even take you to these things, Doctor? Why do I even take you to these things? I don't know. This isn't a loss, it's getting one of the endings. <laughs> so it's yeah. just, you know what, Just Joe Blogs has a really nice the... spin on it, but I'm going to have to give Dr. Glory Hog a slap on a hand because, hey, like, no. So technically, you from... had one thing to do, and that was to ask for mercy. And I told you that one thing, and then you did not ask for mercy. Technically, from the right perspective, I just won the game. <laughs>
Only 23 endings left to find, says Just Joe Blog. <laughs> Here's the deal. Did I see the credits? That means I must have won. You did not win. I saw the credits, though. No, no that's not how that works. That's not how that works. <laughs> As a humanist, I won, ultimately, by getting rid of one less... There's one less stinky vampire in the world. I never even showered you know after what? being on that stinky Doctor, mattress. Doctor, you know what? You're right. You were Bruja, and you he probably won. deserved it. You probably deserve that. Listen, you Malkavian. <laughs> Speed run unlocked. That's right, Pierce. <laughs> you're just mad. You're mad that you've played this multiple times and never seen those credits. So that's on you. Oh, I've seen the credits. I've seen the credits. Yeah. How long did it take you? Did you get it done in an hour and a half? It was less than, it was, it was more than an hour and a half. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> You All played right, it your way, I played it my way. Vampires don't ask for mercy, says Battlecry, and I guess that's, that's kind right. of fair. But if you enjoy the stream, make sure to like and subscribe below. Ring that bell for whenever we go live, because we mostly do live content. Pierce's girlfriend says hi. Hello, Pierce's girlfriend. How are you doing? And you know we what? hope you're enjoying yourself. I'm just going to say this one time and one time only. Hashtag YOLO. <laughs> You only live once. In the comments, we want to know what your favorite clan is to play and if we should play some more of this because we are doing app-based games and video games on our Friday night and we want kind of want to know what we want to continue as we go along. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, Marie. There's, yeah, Dr. Glory Hog totally lost. Like, Did I, though? A bad, Did bad I? vampire. Dr. Glory... We all knew Doctor was going to be a bad vampire. Like, you just you don't have, like, the stamina to be able to be vampire. Bitey. You are. You're too wily. If I was a vampire, I would you probably would have to be Sabat. caught right away. You would have to be Sabat yeah. because, like, you can't uphold the masquerade oh, in the same way. First thing I'm doing is lifting up a car above my head. First thing. First thing. We both think you should play more. <laughs> First thing. I'm just so saying. Fierce. If I get supernatural speed... Or strength, I'm lifting up something I'm not supposed to be and throwing it at somebody. Like, just because. I'd be like, oh, what? You forgot mustard for my hot dog? Car at ya. Ooh, okay. So Haunting Curse says, I recommend cross code on the Switch. Okay, I'm writing that down right now. Oh, Haunting okay. Curse, thank okay. you so much. Hey, but I mean, my Witcher sir, right? Look. Toss a coin to your... I'm um, past the phase is over, All right, isn't so it? so later in the week, we're going to be doing streams for Cubitos. The board game, we're going to be doing a stream for Radlands, Radlands, which is going to Kickstarter, I believe. Here on in, Tuesday. Yeah, this, on Tuesday this week and everything. And then we're going to do our Kickstarter show on Friday. And then we're going to do another app-based game on Friday as well. So we hope to see all of you here. I forgot we have a camera up front. I keep looking at myself again. Oh, God. I'm, I'm going to unplug I'm the sorry, camera. Everybody. So you stop looking at yourself. There you go. No, stop no, I'm not yourself. sorry. I was the best vampire I could possibly be. I gave it my That's all. That's debatable. I was a vampire of one. That's debatable. <laughs> I was the best. The best of me. At least he's not a zombie. There would be an issue. And I 100% agree with that, Marie. If he was a zombie, I'd have to take you out. I'd have to, a zombie is a no-go for me in this relationship. If I have any agency over where my spirit goes when I die, I'm going to try to haunt one of those gremlin dolls so I can chase you around the house and be like, Spike, I'm Spike from Gremlin, so you can be scared out of your mind. Why are you like this, Doctor? She's afraid Why of the movie Gremlins. Like this? She's afraid of the movie Gremlins, and she's old. Oh, Hollow Knight is amazing, and Undertale as well. Yes. I just actually I downloaded. I've heard Hollow Knight's really good. Warhammer 40k, so it's a strategy based game where you're running around shooting people using cards and stuff. That was my plan. I but downloaded if you guys that. Like. The vampire. I thing. downloaded we'll a game that, that Battlecry told me to download, but I haven't had a chance to tiny play it yet. Hands would be so tiny. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for everybody oh, hanging I out. I downloaded with us today, Dungeon though. Tales because Battlecry said I should. And Dungeon I listened Tales. to Battlecry. Don't know why. I haven't played it yet. It? And if you're interested in some of our other like app based games, check out our streams. Let's see here. If you want to see how, how well I do in normal RPGs, but feel free to check out our but altered but carbon but take. Oh, yeah. Oh, I we should do, do other well RPGs. On that one. You know, I miss doing RPGs, honestly. Like, I think the last RPG I played was Cobalt Date My Baby, and it was so good. I miss the outside. I also miss the outside, but I think RPGs you could, like, get by with. Yeah, we, we do don't RPGs. even need to go outside now. We should do RPGs, okay? <laughs> Thank you for everybody joining us. We really appreciate all of your comments out there and oh, hanging yes. out with us. It was so nice to see you, Pierce. We love you, and we will talk to all of you later. Bye.